Tonight, new documents from the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office shedding light on the search for Tristan Bailey and what happened when deputies started asking the suspect, Aiden Fucci, and his parents some very hard questions. Thanks so much for joining us tonight at 6 o'clock. I'm Jeannie Blaylock alongside Anthony Austin. And we do want to warn you tonight, some of the details you're about to hear may be disturbing. Jessica Clark is on your side tonight with those details joining us from the newsroom. And Jessica, that release also includes an, a, a report from the medical examiner's office. Yeah, it does. And, you know, these are just some of the reports made available today in the large document release from the state attorney's office in the murder case of Tristan Bailey. And what's inside includes an image suggesting violence against women, and it paints a disturbing picture. More information revealed about 14-year-old Aiden Fucci and 13-year-old Tristan Bailey in the early hours of May 9th. Court documents indicate Tristan's family realized she was not at home the morning of Mother's Day during breakfast. They searched the entire house for her, and then her mother frantically called 911 to report her missing. While she was still missing, according to investigators' reports, Fucci changed his story with detectives at least once, ultimately saying he left a friend's house with Bailey the night before, that the two walked to her street in their Durban Crossing neighborhood in St. Johns County, and that she tried to grab him, and he says he pushed her to the ground and she hit her head. Fucci also suggested to investigators while Bailey was still missing that she may have gone to meet a drug dealer. Investigators later found that drug dealer and determined he had nothing to do with the murder case. Later that day, a jogger in the neighborhood found a young girl's body bloody in the neighborhood's woods. The medical examiner's report released Wednesday indicates Bailey had been stabbed 114 times and had defensive wounds. That report also revealed the suspected weapon, a knife, was found in a pond only 140 feet from the body. The knife missing its tip. The tip found in Tristan's skull. Keep going. According to investigators' reports, during a search warrant in Fucci's home, investigators found bloody clothes in his closet, as well as what is described as satanic images and violent drawings of women in his bedroom. Now, many, many people are named in these documents, and we understand from previous uh, news gathering that there are more than 250 potential witnesses in this case. Live in the newsroom, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side. Jess, thank you. So let's talk more about these new documents. They are also shedding light on the night Aiden Fucci and his parents were inside of an interrogation room after Tristan Bailey's body was discovered. Aiden's parents questioned him with no detectives in the room, but the audio and video devices, they were rolling. According to the report, his mother told him that Bailey was found in their neighborhood. The report says Aiden then asked, is she good? The mother's response, no, she's dead. It's all on you right now. The report says Aiden asked, how is it my problem? They reportedly said because he was the last one seen with her. The report also says the mother asked where Bailey went after they parted and Fucci stated that she probably kept walking. His father asked, according to the report, he didn't turn around to see where she went, and he replied no. Now, according to the report, Aiden's parents told him to find his story and stick to it. He was arrested at 3.30 the next morning. His mother, Crystal Smith, would later be arrested, accused of tampering with evidence in this case.